సో కిషోర్ దత్ గారు గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ అండి గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ అండి నమస్కారం వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ అర్చనా స్కూల్ అలిమని అసోసియేషన్ టుడే వీ వాంట్స్ నో అబౌట్ యువర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ఇన్ యూకే అబౌట్ ఇన్సా అండ్ వీ వాంట్ ద ఫుల్ ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సా అండ్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ బీన్ డూయింగ్ ఫర్ ద ఇండియన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దోస్ హూ హ్యావ్ కమ్ టు స్టడీ ఓవర్ హియర్ అండ్ వాట్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ దే ఆర్ ఫేసింగ్ హియర్ అండ్ హౌ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సాల్వ్ ఆల్ దోస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ and uh, i would like to know about the difficulties that they are facing here also uh, recently also there were one or two murders and uh, uh, you know stabbings and you know uk is also becoming uh, a tough place for students to live on so how insa is going to solve all these problems we would like to uh, show to our uh, archana school alumni association members so please explain yeah. us Uh, first of all uh, thank you for the opportunity um, guru garu uh, and my best wishes to achna school alumni uh, group um, well uh, just to give a perspective the number of students that come to uk have risen in the last few years mainly because of the addition of the introduction of psw which is post study work visa so the students who come here and complete their uh, st- uh, studies uh, they are eligible to stay for extra two, hour, uh, two years without any visa conditions uh, or any sponsorship so the number of students who have come uh, from like 2020 especially uh, have, have gone up and just to give you numbers to see the the scale of the problems or the numbers that we can if i can give you you'll get an estimate uh, in the number of students that go to us from india uh, in the last year is 1 lakh roughly 1 lakh 75000 uh, 175000 students have gone and you know that um, us is 2.5 times bigger in terms of uh, in, uh, in the geography and the size of it Uh, but if you put that into context um, uh, into uk's perspective uk is like nearly 21 times smaller but the number of students who come to uk is 1 lakh 35000 students this is you know 21 times smaller than india which got 135000 and 2.5 times bigger um, in the us they've got about you know 175000 so uk is second biggest destination largest destination for indian students to come there are multiple reasons uh, why you know uk has been a prime um, choice um, or the one of the major choices for indian students to uh, come here language you know accessibility historical connections and mainly because you know uh, they are also guided by you know all the agencies uh, basically as, as, and I'll, i'll touch upon that also later on so right so coming to <coughs> coming to the issues and challenges there's about um, 150 universities in the uk there's nearly about 150 universities and i can i can um, i can tell you uh, one in uh, one in five international students as is an indian and one in um, one in three or one in four uh, indian students there's telugu student so it's very very important to know that the nem- even though there's 135000 students that come to uk uh, are indians out of which the majority and more than 50% are from telugu speaking states so telangana and andhra pradesh put together and the second highest uh, number comes from punjab and haryana the, that kind of states so to put it that in context telugu speaking uh, you know people have given lot of um, money to the uk uh, universities and uh, just last year the report was you know in 2122 financial year the indian students have contributed about 42 billion pounds 42 billion is not a small number and if if you ask if the students are benefiting from this uh, investment in a way uh, the the the, rea- the expectations before they arrive here um, is completely different and the and and the, and the prime uh, i would say responsibility is on the agents um, who sell all the dreams uh, to these students like you know you get there uh, you know you have uh, you will get this job you will be you know earning so much and then you can pay back and your loan uh, these kind of things are are are, are um, told them, told to them without any fact check and reality check uh, for just for an example the, uh, the cost of crisis is has been a big hit in the in the recent months in the uk but the agencies there back in back in india have not counted for it so they still count like you know the accommodation price is about 400 pounds a month where in in london we know that it has gone up you know it's nearly doubled uh, important when they come here then the reality hits them very hard 
that's when they get into shock they get into all sort of extra stress apart from the you know the all the loans that they take the financial stress they already have and and the expectations and the pressure you know sheer pressure from the family friends and apart from that there's a lot of competition for jobs because you can imagine there's going to be n number of jobs but you know the uh, the number of students international students have gone up and also put together uh, it's not just the indian students uh, they are there in the in the international category there are nigerians there's pakistanis bangladeshis chinese as well a large amount of them so if um, if 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 there's only one job and like five people are competing obviously the best only wins so our you know students they get into uh, every odd job you know hard working of course um, so they 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 struggle to find part time jobs to start with and uh, only if only if they have an experience where only if they have good proper communication skills that's when they'll be able to at least you know go to the finals of the interview for a full time job so it's not easy uh, when they come here to to uh, to get settled uh, you know get used to the systems and all that so that's just one side of the story coming to the universities this uh, no only recently uh, this few universities i don't want to name at this moment that you know the they are discriminating against indian students they are failing it failing the students wantedly uh, there has been a mass um, uh, no fa- 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 fails you know they are failing in one particular subject for in, in a mass scale not just one or two uh, students out of you know class if there are 80 students in the class 100 students in the class indian students 80 have been failed 83 and the same 80 people have done very good marks in one of the other subjects but only in one particular module they'll be failing and this is this is not just limited to one university there are several universities you know where we are getting to hear these kind of um, things where the indian students have been discriminated as simply been seen as a cash cows and nothing more than that so what they want is money and also uh, the the indian students have been unfortunately they've been used as in in the in the, in the labor market you know the all the hospitality industry care home industry warehouse events management so all the all these jobs have been now you know completely filled majority of them is be filled by indian students uh, which is one way good but when when again as i say the, when the psw visa uh, is is over once they finish their studies they get psw which is post study work visa tied to for two years but once that is over uh they they struggle to get sponsorship so if you want to stay further after 2 years um uh, somebody a company has to sponsor and that's when the real challenge and real difficulty comes and uh, majority of the students who don't find uh, this sponsorship will have to go back and when they have to go back um unless they do the, you know a, a full time career oriented job um in uk it's not going to be any useful say if they work in a in, in a restaurant it's not going to be useful for them when they go back to india so all what they do is start their career from scratch from zero they join this you know some courses amir pet or you know all these things and then they have to uh, literally start from scratch so all the investment all the money all the time and effort that they put you know for about 3 years in uk have you know literally has no purpose and use so this has been a major uh, challenge for indian students majority of them that's um, that's what i see and um, accommodation is one of the biggest crisis we see jobs is another issue and uh, you know very silent discrimination you know unfair treatment uh, has been a big problem uh, here in the in the uk and uh, the uh, one of the recent very recent uh, issue that we you know come to our notice is uh, the minance of drugs so our students are are also misguided and getting into wrong hands they are getting into uh, all sorts of bad habits and negative or 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 bad um, influence uh, you know with in terms of drugs and other other sorts of uh, um, not 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 so good things uh, habits habits wise so you know several several parents also you know a bit concerned about this so they write to us you know to find out you know my you know so my my child is not you know responding to us from last four days five days can i know what is happening to them and we dig into and we you know with all the vast network that we have so so this is this is one of one side of the story when it comes 